Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you this really cool little box caddy thing that I've put together. It's four boxes and they are all held in this little kind of holster, little case. And you can see inside there you've got loads of space. You can fill these with all kinds of treats. It's going to, again, like with most of my projects, work with many occasions, birthdays, Christmas especially. I think it's going to look wonderful. So they all pop out. So you've got kind of two projects in one. This makes a nice little kind of holder. You could put anything in that, maybe a little cellophane bag with sweets and treats and tied with some ribbon. And then these boxes are really nice on their own as well. So they all slide back in like so. And I think it's a nice little keepsake as well. And you could all, you may even want this in your craft room, maybe have some bits and pieces stored in it. So very straightforward to make, no dies are needed for this one. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna make the box. So I've got the three that I've already done here. So you'll want a piece of nine and a half by seven and a half. Along the nine and a half side, you're gonna score at half an inch, one and a half and eight and a half. And then rotate it so this end is at the bottom and you're going to score at one three and a half four and a half and seven okay so do that four times and you want to fold and burnish all those score lines okay then we need to do some cutting so you want to have your half inch tab on the right hand side and you're just going to cut up each of these score lines to the first score line and then just remove this corner one completely and then just take a little wedge off of there and then the two squares here just take a little wedge off of each side okay and then come along this side and this section here you want to remove completely so come down past that first score line and down oh, to the second one then working along this side here you're going to cut down again all the score lines but this time to the second score line so past the first one, down to the second, again. And then the two square ones, you've got little pieces above them. Just remove those completely, like so. And then this one here, you want to remove completely. And use the bigger scissors to just come in there and just remove that whole section, like so. So now this will all come around, the side pieces will go in and then that will all close up. So leave all of that, don't cut into it, don't cut little wedges off of these squares and stuff. Do that right at the end so we can make sure it all closes. So now we can put it together. So I'm going to add some glue all down the tab. You might want to decorate with your mats and layers before you put them together, but it's easy to decorate after. So I'm just going to add my glue all down that side. And I like to fold it over and then if you fold over just that one inch piece it will all line up so these are great if you want to make like kind of batch make you could leave them now not stick the bottom down and they're all store away quite nicely it won't take up a lot of room and then go back that way and you want to make sure it all lines up and it's all nice and straight and even when it's flat and that way you know it's going to be a nice well in this case rectangle shape when it's open and then for the base, I'm going to pop one of these down, add my glue, and then pop the sides in, and then just add some more glue, and then close it up. If you just grab a ruler or something that you can get in there, and just make sure that's all nice and secure then to decorate the sides i've got two pieces here that are two and a quarter by six and three quarters i'm going to go on the front and the back and then i've got this piece here for the top which is three quarters by two and a quarter so that's going to go on the very top there and then i just need to cut two pieces to go down the side which i thought i did but i haven't and they will be three quarters by six and three quarter so get those all stuck down across all of the boxes. Okay, so that's everything stuck down. And then what you want to do is just take a little wedge off of the side. Now take a small bit off of the front part. I'm really just kind of taking away any score line that might be there. And again, 
on the other one. And move that out of the way, it's pretty distracting. So again, just a very small amount. You can take more away from the back, so the piece that the side that's against this, but from the front you want to take a small amount. The idea is, is that when you put this in, you want it to be nice and snug so it stays closed. So at the moment that's too tight. So what I'm going to do is just cut away a little bit. Again, it's mainly any bits of score line that you might still see. And then pop that in. There we go. You want it to be snug. See how that stays closed on its own? And then if you want to add a finger pull, I just take a little half inch punch here and just punch that out. And that's your box. I've got my four boxes all ready here. Now we're going to make the little caddy for them to all go in or the little holder. So this piece of card here is ten and a half by eight and a quarter. Along the ten and a half side, you're going to score at four and six and five eighths. Okay, slightly odd measurements because we need it to wrap around those boxes. And then rotate it and you're going to score at two and six and a quarter. Okay, now I started cutting, so I wanted to make sure that I was um, doing this right. But you want to cut down, so work on the short side. You're going to cut down the two score lines to the first score line. So just these long sections here. Again, rotate it. Okay, and then what's going to happen is this is all going to come around. All come up on the sides. And you'll see we've got that holder for the boxes to go in. Now, what you can do with these long sections, you can keep them as they are if you want to have extra reinforcement. But I think if you cut them in half, you're not going to have too much bulk then. So just cut away. Again, just roughly. Like so. And then again with these, just take a little wedge off of each side. So it's nice and neat when the boxes are in, like so. Okay, this is optional, but I'm just going to round off the corners on the large section on the front and the back. Like so, and then we can stick this all in so I'm just going to add my glue I'm going to add it onto all four because this glue doesn't dry straight away but if you want to do one at a time you can so then just bring that down and around and just line it up so you've got a nice right angle let that stick down and again So, and then you can just fold those two in and just bring that side up and just spend a minute whilst it's starting to dry just making sure they're all nice and straight and like I said you've got those nice right angles you can if you want to to ensure your boxes are all going to fit just pop them in whilst the glue's still drying and then you can kind of push against it and just again make sure that everything is lined up nicely now this next step is optional. You can just keep it as it is, but I think it looks quite nice to have these little kind of straps and I'm going to have mine visible on the front. I'm going to put like a little embellishment on there. You could have these different colours as well if you wanted to. In fact, now I'm thinking, should I do the lighter pink? Let me just have a little look. So I've just cut one in the lighter pink that matches the box. These are three and a half by three quarters and you don't need to score them. You can just wrap them around. That looks quite cool, actually. I like that. Now, if you want to decorate this with pattern paper before you stick this in, or you could also attach these behind this piece. So they go in like so and attach either side of this. But I, I like, like I said, that you've been able to see them. And I'm going to do, I've got these little silver, like, I don't know if I've got enough, but they look like little faux screws. If you want to decorate the front of this with pattern paper or maybe stamp a sentiment, then you want a piece of four by three and three quarters.
Okay, so I've stuck everything down. I've stamped today is all about you. you see, I've added, I didn't have the ones that I wanted. I had none left. So I've just used those little faceted pearls, but I think it looks really sweet. And then I thought it'd be quite nice to add some flowers. I have so many paper flowers here and I just haven't used them for probably well over a year. And as I've promised myself, I'm going to be making a lot more 3D projects. I think I'll be getting through these so I've pulled out the colours that I think tie in and match really nicely and then I've just die cut a couple of these big leaves which are from my pop-up bloom collection and then you just want to make sure whatever you stick on make sure you stick it onto this part you don't want it going on obviously where the boxes are yeah just build up a little cluster in I'm going to do the top left and the bottom right Okay, so here is the finished project. I really like it. If I just bring it close there, you can see all of those flowers. Just a little bit extra detail. Again, with most of my 3D makes, I think this is going to work for all kinds of occasions, Christmas especially. I know lots of you like to get uh, organised and start making them early, but I think it's lovely. And I just like the idea of having multiple gifts, something a little bit different in each one. I could definitely put a watch in one, maybe a necklace, some sweets and a gift voucher and things like that. You can get so much in these and um, they're really handy on their own as well. And I think having them maybe in different colours. Yeah, there's lots you can do with this. So I always look forward to seeing your version. If you're on Facebook, I have a group called Mixed Up Crafters. And there you can share any of your makes that you make following my tutorials. It's a really lovely group over there. Everyone's very friendly and helpful. So yeah, make sure you go over and join if you want to. If you are looking for the product, I will have it linked here, but it will also be linked below the video. You can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. That way you won't miss out on future 3D makes and cards. And also you can catch up on all of my past videos. And coming up now here, I'll have another unusual gift box, gift bag idea that you might want to watch next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.